Hey everyone, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today what I wanted to do is show you how to use nested repeaters in advanced custom fields and oxygen to create a pricing table like you see here on the screen. So this is just a standard looking pricing table, but really the idea here from my perspective is just to show you how to build it, and then you can make it look pretty and you know to your heart's content basically. So we have a repeater here that is more or less each of these columns that you see, and then there's another repeater here that is the features of this particular pricing table. So in this case, the features, kind of the main bullet list here, if you want to call it that, is what you would get from a hosting provider. So you can add as many of these as you want all in the back end. And then also there's a radio option to set it as featured to change the color. And you could add text here, you know, that says featured or best value or whatever. So on the actual edit screen of your page, you have basically two things you can do here. So you can add the services in the list. And then as I just mentioned, you can add as many bullet points as you want like this. You also choose the button link here using the ACF page link option. So it makes it extremely easy for someone who's non-technical, doesn't have to worry about links or URLs or anything. They just basically search for the page name itself. You click on it's featured, yes or no, and then you publish the page. So you can add more packages down here and add you know, another row. And then also what I've done on the front end is set it up to have the dollar sign in the front of the price and then the per month uh, on the backside. So whatever formatting you put in here doesn't really make a difference. And then, you know, basically just choose your image, add your bullet points, and then select the page. The advanced custom field group looks like this. So you have the main pricing table repeater here. Inside of that, you have the service name, price, image. You have the items as another repeater with only one field inside of that, which is for bullet points. Um, I just called it bullet points. Maybe there's a better phrase for that, like, like service items or whatever you want to call it, but it's just a plain text field. I also have the button link, which uses the ACF field type page link. And then I just set to filter by post type to only pages. And then I deselected the allow archive URLs because I want it to go to a page. You could change it to post or whatever is applicable in your scenario. And then last but not least, I have the radio option for featured. So I just chose yes or no, is this featured? And then depending on what you choose in the edit screen here, if it's featured, yes, then it's gonna make the background this kind of pinkish color. And then no, it's gonna be this purplish color. So in Oxygen, I just set the conditions to show this div if it's set to featured yes, and then this button with the background color if it's set to yes as well. So the actual Oxygen editor looks like this. Obviously you can see that this first div in the row here is repeating, so you have both the purple and kind of the pink color, but that's okay because on the front end, obviously it works fine. I just set the condition on this to show up if the radio option is yes, and then this one to show up if the radio option is no for featured. Same thing is true for these buttons, and then pretty much everything else is the same. So this whole div here is the first repeater, and then this one right here with my text kind of uh, featured items is what I was calling it, is another repeater inside of that. So here's the structure pane and how it all kind of looks. Again, I mentioned this is nested repeater, so I have my primary repeater here, which is basically just this div containing everything. And then inside of that, I have two divs, one for the purple background, one for the pink background. I have another div to kind of contain everything in here to give this some padding. And then, of course, I have this repeater here, and the only thing inside of that is just a text element, and then that has my features on that. So you can see the setup is uh, relatively straightforward. It's more or less just a couple of divs inside each other, but I wanted to show you that nested repeaters does work. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set this up, look at the link in the description below, which will take you to my Advanced Custom Fields Pro and Oxygen course. If you've already purchased the Ultimate Oxygen Builder course, all the ACF content is included, so you can definitely just log in and get started on that. Also, if you buy the Advanced Custom Fields Pro course, you also get the Ultimate Oxygen course as well. Definitely recommend watching the Oxygen course first before you jump into the ACF stuff so you're not completely lost as to what we're doing. So again, the point of this was to show you that nested repeaters do work and how you can use that to create a pricing table like you see on your screen here. If you have any questions or other ACF use cases you'd like me to put together, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.